G'day guys, my name's Josh, you can call me Zawoodle and welcome back to 7 Days to Die. We were back in our Millionaire Challenge as the sun slowly rises into 4am on day 31. We're here to make money, we're here to make a million dollar redos as quickly as we can. And today is a very important day in our journey because I have to go across the street to Old Mate down there and sell as much of the gubs that I've accumulated over the journey to him as I can. As many of these things need to go which means I need to do some legwork getting some mods to make all the tier 6 stuff worth oodles more money than they are at the moment also repairing stuff and getting stuff going I don't have as much stuff to uh, to sell like the amount of items I have to sell is not as much as normal but I have more tier 6 stuff so hopefully that will work out in my favor what do I got? I got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 nine tier six things and they're worth about like three and a half to four grand a pop as well in fact the really good stuff like these ones they're gonna be worth a pretty penny so fill them full of mods take across the street and hawk them off for a bunch of coin what could possibly go wrong for me other than everything the first thing that I'm missing on my plan, you're still cooking away, is a bunch of duct tape because I need all of that. It's like three minutes. I need all of that to make myself a repair kit so that I can repair the gubs to sell it for better. Grab you as well while you're cooking away. I'll have that ready to go. Uh, I also need glue by itself to make myself a bunch of mods to go into the assorted things. Um... What I might do, I'll get all the tier 6 stuff on me now so I know what kind of mods I need. Because at the moment, most of them are mostly empties. So give me all of you. I am going to sell my tier 6 shovel. The tier 5 is doing enough as it is. I'd rather make the money than worry too much about one extra mod slot on my usable tools. It's just a shovel. It's fine. It's not that critical. All things said and done. That's all good there. I do need to go through and get all the different mods that I need to figure out exactly what I need to craft. There's a lot of uh, hoops to jump through this morning there's a lot of stuff to be done so far it's not looking especially amazing i do need to make a fair couple of mods to go into all these things it's worth the investment of my time and resources though uh to get that all done you actually you ever got one more spot inside and all i'm missing is like the cooling mesh mods that's relatively easy to do in fact you're missing one as well so that's a couple of uh maximums there got one hood waiting to be repaired as well that's also full of mods so we're fine on that front what do I need again for the cooling mesh mod? Glue, oil, polymers, mechanical parts, and sewing kits. All right. Well, I'm running out of sewing kits a little bit. Need the oil. I've got the glue. I've got the irons. That should be good. Uh, missing mechanical parts. That's all fine. Grab you. Quickly go and churn out a bunch of those ones. Oh, I'm feeling the pressure a bit. I'm feeling the pressure. Even though I have all day to get my shit in line, I'm still like nervous about wasting time with this because i still want to go and do some raiding and get some more gubs to sell but time's of the essence and i'm running out of it i'm just trying to go through especially with the knives where i don't have a lot of options just trying to go through and figure out exactly what mods can go into you if i focus on like item by item i should get through it a bit easier than just assuming i know everything that i need no they changed it way to head mods don't go on knives anymore or do they change it back again? I know at some stage, like in the Eclipse series, I was using a Shetty that had a way to headbot on it. And then one day, they took away that um, capability. And then I think they brought it back. So I'm not sure about way to head mods at the top. Well, I'll have to come back to that, I suppose. I need another one of you to go into your little pal here. I don't need, actually. What if I you? I can chuck you into that one. I don't need that Tempered Blade mod schematic because that's the spot that gets taken up by that one. But with all those in my belt, that should be all right. What else can I make though? What else is available to me? What else do I have? I'm gonna go grab some steel and some gas. I'll uh, grab you and you. In fact, did I ever... What's my situation like for my awesome sauce? I've got two in there, but I do have a lot more mushrooms than I had just the other day. Give me that one. Give me the froths and acid as well. Why was acid in my food box? Aren't you supposed to be in here? No, apparently... Wait. Hang on. Am I getting things turned around? No, there was no definite acid in my materials box. I just got that all confused because I guess I was making myself awesome sauce and just assumed that it went with everything else. Uh, what else do I need for awesome sauce? I'm missing... Dollary Doos. A pretty significant part of the whole operation. Give me you. Give me that. And give me a bunch of you. I'm missing... 
Jars of honey. All right, hang on two seconds. I've got more of those hanging about somewhere. Not much, but some. Might need to go harvest some beehives pretty soon. So that one's done. It's worth almost three grand. That's before any of my perks. Uh, what's the next closest to be done? I think you. I don't need purple dye now, but I do need some cooling mesh. Go like that. You're now done as well. Uh, you should be... Pretty much done with those. Modify that. Chuck you in there. And you need a lot more mods, but those are coming. Don't you bloody worry about it. So all you're missing now is one extra mod on the top of you. Um, in fact, can I just like... No, you've already got that one. That's fine. Let's just go like an Iron Breaker mod, I suppose. But he uses steel. Mm, it's relatively expensive. You know what? I think the Burning Sharp one is actually cheaper than the other two. And I need, what? One, two, three... Four. I need four of those. It's going to take five minutes, though. God, everything in here takes so long to make. What I would really love, and in fact, something I probably should do, is having... Because I always need four mods in a tier six to get maximum dollary dudes, right? So I should have four crafting stations down here, all churning out, like, six at a time, like, 12 at a time, even, of different kinds of mods for different kinds of things I need to shove things into. Which is kind of what I was doing with the pockets and the bandos and the cooling mesh mods and stuff like that. So, so any armor mods I get can be maxed out pretty quickly. Uh, but for, like, weapons and stuff, it's a little bit harder to have everything in a line. Nothing goes into my pick. That's upsetting. You need a couple of mods as well. I'm not even sure what kind of mods I can make for a bow. I'll have a squiz and see if there's anything. An ergonomic even grip mod. That goes into a bow. I know that. I'll give me one of those. Um, I don't think I can make uh, bow specific stuff. Not yet anyway. Yeah, everything down here, everything fun is still locked. And the anti-rad. Like, an anti-rad uh, mod, same with the cripple mod actually, is just really good for making extra money. But if you have a cripple them. Damn it, what else can I put in you? Oh my god, I can't put burning shaft mods. Well, of course you can't. There's no shaft to stop you. There's no shaft on a knife, Josh. I probably should have seen that coming ahead of time. Can put it on my pick, though. That saved myself a bunch of extra materials. Lucky I caught that one. Although I do need another one for that shovel, so we'll make uh, another one of you. Uh, if you're going to let me, actually. Burning shaft. There you go. Get you on the go. Oh, what's the time? It's already 20 to 9 in the morning. I'm faffing out with mods. I know it's worthwhile. It's just taking so long to get everything done. I'm running into a bit of a dead end where I don't have enough springs to make the things I need to do. So I might just have to leave these ones behind for today uh, and not go and sell them right away because I don't have the mods to fill them. No use selling them unless they're absolutely chock-a-block with all of the money-making goodness because I've just run out of materials. I just don't have the materials to keep making mods, which is a damn crying shame. Uh, you've got the burning shaft mod. You, in fact, I can, hang on a second. I can pull you out of that one, which means I can fill up you. You're now ready to be sold. Uh, can I do the same with you, actually? Because you can't, oh, my word, that might work. Because I can't put um, the burning shaft mod into the knives, but I can put these mods into the pick. Except that one. Dang. So I need to find one more for that too. That's a bit upsetting. There's so many for like little rules and things around the place I just need to keep track of. Well, in that case, the ones that aren't full don't get sold today. You don't get sold today. It's just really going to do the shovel and some extra gubbins that are going to get done. I'll have to mean there's going to be more trade potato days. That's not the worst thing in the world. This is more important for me to make sure I make the most use of my awesome sauce when I can. You guys can hang out in here for a bit. I'll stash you somewhere else and accidentally sell you. There you go. I'll fill it with mods another day. But for now, I just need to go through and see what I can do and see what money I can make. And then go find some more stuff to sell. It's always a rotating little cylinder of awesome. Gotta keep pushing. Sellables box has been emptied. I've got all the good gubs on me now. I'll sell the tier 6 stuff first. Just make as much as I can. So I need to make sure that I have everything going for me. Cigar is in me chops. I need to go get my magnum out of my... Uh, out of my gyrocopter, which is now on the roof. Not your best, Joshy boy. Not your bloody best. You completely forgot where you parked your freaking helicopter. I can barely even get up from this side either. All right, hang on. Hang on. I'll run the gauntlet to get back to my bloody gubbins. Grab you. I'll change it over for that one. And I also need some sugar butts. Okay, so that's going to give me everything that I think that I need. Make sure I'm holding the magnum this time, because I often forget to drop down. There you go. All right, Bobby boy. 
We've been waiting a fair few days for this moment to come, but it's finally your moment to shine. Uh, let's quickly eat you. XP gogs are on. We'll eat you as well. Give me all the extra bartonists that I can possibly get. And let's go sell a bunch of gubbins. You, you, and what are you gonna give me now? Three and a half grand for fully stacked stuff. Definitely worthwhile. Six grand, absolutely the right call selling you. Six grand on the shove. Take that one, and that one, and that one. And right off the bat, we've already made almost 20 grand. Oh, it's a good day. It's a good day to be doing business, Bobby boy. Always good to come and see you when you just give me all the money you can give. Oh, that might have some mods in my box, actually. Hold on two seconds. I'm going to sell it just yet. I have to go find some extra gups. I sold all of my stuff and made a cheeky what? Like 45 grand, which isn't as much as I've made before, but it's still a fair chunk. Uh, I can't sell you, but I do have a couple of scopes and stuff like that up in that box that can only go into sniper rifles or marksman rifles and stuff like that. So it's not a tier six, which is a shame, but finding a tier six marksman rifle, like a top echelon weapon, a tier six as well, is a once in a blue moon kind of thing. So not really super smart holding out all hope for that, I don't think. Let's go full auto mod, let's go eight times scope mod, and let's go magazine extender, because I think they all go into you. Yes, you do. You're now worth like four grand, so that's some good crickets. Uh, all the rest of the stuff is just, uh, useful for other things. It's only the eight times scope mod that I'm really concerned about finding a home for. I probably could have put some mods into that pistol as well, but the chance of finding like a tier six AK or something even is always worth the bread basket. Grab you, talk to you, sell that one. Nice. Okay, well now that we've done all of that and made all of our money, now I want to see if we can, you know, have a bit of an exchange. I've taken all the money off you. Let me give you some back if you've got anything that's worth my time. Trading has been interrupted by a derpo coming in. That's actually not too far away at all. It's probably only... Oh, I'm not even sure. Probably only about... Oh, there, I'd say. We'll go like that. We'll just go Derpo for now. Because it's directly in line of where the Gyrocopter will take off in a bit. So, I'll probably stumble across it later anyway. Always take the eye candy. Uh, I'll take the Rockbusters as well. Only got 35 seconds left to, to buy anything expensive though. So, probably worthwhile me doing it now. You've got an awesome sauce recipe again. Always happy to see that pop up. Uh, I don't need that one. I have some anti vulture protection already. You've got mods that are nice and cheap for me, though, so I'll take those. Um, a book? Yep, sure, why not? A tacky boy? I'm starting to panic. I don't even know. I've got 10 seconds left. I'm under time pressure. I don't handle pressure well at all. Grave digger mod, you're nice and cheap. Give me you. Bunch of schematics I've already read. All right, well, there goes the awesome source. That's right. That's fine. I mean, I'm not really in the mood to buy anything particularly expensive, but it's always worth us double checking while I can. I bought some buckshot off him, but that's really kind of inconsequential, just in case I do run out of shotgun ammo. There's not really much else in here that's tickling my fancy at all. I'm just struggling. I'm just struggling to see the things I want to do. Like, I feel like really like out of my groove at the moment. I only have like, I feel pretty confident in the things that I'm trying to set about doing. But at the moment, I just feel like I'm all lathered up against the wall like some spattered shaving cream. Not really doing a great job of anything I'm trying to do. You do have a Dolce. Tempting, because I do quite like the Dolce. Oh, and you I have a small hoard of books. Craft an M16. Yes, please. Type of volume 2. Give me that one as well. Your books I haven't read, and I'm a fiend for closed books, if nothing else. Uh, and not much else getting me excited. All right. Gratitude. That'll do. Gratitude to you too, Bobby boy. I want to go see about that derpo that's just down to the south. Real quick though. Oh, XP Gog's on. Read you. No fanfare. No fanfare there either. We must be getting reasonably close though. Uh, one more book in you. Ooh, each kill boost run speed. That's a good one I never really think about. So one more book in that one. And there's a couple of sixes and sevens through here. We're getting nice and close. Let's go see what's in that derpo though. So that little venture's put us up to like $260,000 reduce. Again, not a massive moneymaker of a day. I've had better, but not going to turn my nose up at that anyway. Before I go get that derpo though, I have this stash of steel tool parts in here. And that's important because I've been saving those because I can make myself some pretty kick-ass steel tools. I can only make two at the moment though, but still probably a good idea. I think the shovel is the way to go. So what do I need? I need steel, wood, leather, and duct tape. 
Uh, steel, wood, leather, and duct tape. Did I use all of my duct tape in soon? I probably did. I think I turned all my duct tape into repair kits. Uh, how am I going to need them? I'm going to need 18 of them. Duct tape, just make me 18 for now. Don't need to go over, to, over the, uh, the top with it. Thank you. Put you guys back away. I'll just get those steel shovels on the craft now. Because then, yeah, like a couple days now, they'll be worth several thousand dollars. And that's all I want. Make sure we eat a little bit before we go as well. I'll drink some mineral water. I feel like I leave that just kind of smolter in the box and go stale. I don't like the weird taste of stale water. All my mineral water now tastes like that, but it is what it is. That's barely even a run up. Can I reverse a little bit? Or can I just like try bin it off the end and not crash into Bobby Boys? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Put your faith in physics or lack thereof. It's seven days. Oh, get over the flagpole. Oh, didn't quite get over the flagpole. We're fine. We're fine. Don't even worry about it. Let's go find that Turpo and grab its guts and see if there's anything valuable inside it. It's down here somewhere. We'll see the fair to plume. And then, I mean, it's it's 20 past two after a pretty uh, stressful and unorganized, disorganized even morning. Uh, we have a little bit of time for our sleeves. So I feel like if I could potentially get a quest that's relatively doable, there it is. Are you on top of a goddamn tree? You bloody are too, aren't you? All right. I see you. I see you. Let's play your game then. Seven days to die. Can I land my gyro on top of it and grab it that way? Or do I have to build up to get it? Of all the places you could have dropped the derpo. Now you're just taking the piss game. On top of a tree is not a solution. Oh, that was a terrible landing. I have been in this predicament before, and I know that just cutting down the tree doesn't actually give me the derpo. It just breaks the bloody box. So this time, I'll have to play by your rules to get all the way to the top. As much as I'd love to try and um, bail out of the gyro and grab it on the way down, if I had some oh shit drops, I probably would. That's just a recipe for disaster to break both of my kneecaps and suddenly have not a lot of options available to me. Grab the supply crates. Another beaker, not too bad. You're not really worth much at all, but you might be if I repair you. So I'll scrap you and take the rest and then get all the way back down again. The adventures you go on just to get some gubs from a pilot. All I wanted from you is to see the big old building I'm living in and drop it somewhere near me, not in the top of a freaking pine tree. I think actually, was that quest that I had, was that a waterworks? No, it wasn't a waterworks. All right, please don't faff about with the controls too much because you will fall to your death. No, it was a different one. All right, let's just go do that one then. I already have the job, so may as well get that done nice and early. I do, oh, I don't have any money on me. I did want to try and go to the other tradies and see what they have to offer to sell me, but really all I'm looking for is books and things, maybe some potentially relatively cheap mods. Schematics actually is super important. I need to get some schematics going, but that's, I don't think, as important as going raiding and trying to find some more T6 stuff to loot. That's really what I'm after, because yeah, like that shovel, that was like a $6,000 shovel. That's a ridiculous amount of coins. So if I keep looking for those kinds of things, that's going to make me money faster than anything else. I can see trainees tomorrow or the day after or whenever. That's less important than just murdering some zombies and going raiding because that's what this game is. We're coming in pretty hot. Oh, bit of a bounce. That's okay. I do recognize the building. It's not the JW house, I don't think. It's, uh, it's just the one that has like all the antennas and stuff in it. Good for mechanical parts, but not really what I'm after today. Let's just sit you down there. That'll be fine. <laughs> Bud, there's no more derpos at the top of the trees. I don't know what you're after. I don't know what um what part of the biosphere has pissed you off, but that's not the way to air your grievances or be an eco warrior and kill you for trying to kill a tree. Although you probably have hunting inside you, so I'll finish off what you started and take any bee juice that might be hanging out inside, because bee juice gives you better deals. Ah, no honey though. No honey. That's fine. This, uh, oh, I do remember this place, actually. I know this POI. This is a dick of a POI. I'm suddenly severely less excited to go through here than I was two seconds ago, but let's get it done. Time is ticking away, and I have an auto shotty, so may as well take advantage of that and just try and rinse through here as quickly as we can. Loza. Oh, and some friends as well. Loza and friends. And a particularly upset Nets. 
That's fine, my chlamydia stick will sort you out. It's seen many an angry bitty before. You're not the first to get bonked. I do have some fond memories of this room in particular because there's usually, yeah, there we go, the three Bernie boys hanging out in the coal fire, but they're all nice and weak. And I was going to say you can usually get the triple up with them, but they weren't quite lining up for me today. And I'm not going to push my luck. Speaking of pushing my luck... Oh, I hear some shuffling footsteps. I want to get into there. Oh, it's a shotgun messiah. Yeah, okay. I feel like that's worthwhile. You have to do a bit more digging on this to get in than I would like, but with steel tools, not too much of a problem. And if I can find some tier 6 gubs, always worthwhile. Whoever is up there is um rather upset with me, but you can just hang out there for a little bit. Loot and gogs are on. Gun store box, bipod mod. Oh, actually, that makes me think. Okay, before I get too... F oh, shit. My looting candy is in my gyro, which I parked well up the street because I fly like a potato that lost its wings. Shit, I can't go get my looting candy. I'll fail the quest if I go that far away. That is rather unfortunate. Uh, okay. So maybe, okay, well, if I finish the quest without looting the last room, so I kill all the zombies and grab the supplies, then the quest will be done and I won't fail it. So now I can go and get the looting candy and come back and just grab all of the gubs out of the loot room. That's kind of my only option. There is the supplies. That's nice and easy on that one. Who's coming for me? Probably a feral. My gut feeling says so. Yep. Was a feral. Shoot you in the waist and bonk your noggin. That's going to have to be the way I'm going to do it. I can't loot this place without getting everything I possibly can. I'll be real upset with myself if I don't. Just going to quickly head outside and... Oh god, you were right there. <laughs> Quickly clear out all the clowns that are outside. Just so I can have a little bit of peace and quiet. Oh. While I focus on murdering all your brethren. In fact, while I'm here, let's just go like... That's... Oh, you didn't take the hint though. And you caught the one meant for your friend. That's just being greedy. That's just being selfish. I'm out here trying to evenly disperse all of my ammunition. And you just want to doubles. Who are you, freaking George Costanza? Double dipping your goddamn chip? Get that shit out of here. You dip and you move on. Take what you're given and accept it. XP gogs are back on. That is a feral and my archery skills aren't... Oh, you're both ferals. Well, in that case, my archery skills aren't quite up to par to dispense you guys nice and quickly. So that killed you and that definitely kills you if i have any questions about that i can consult all your memories that are currently lining the wallpaper at the back of the room close you you're definitely dead nice put my loot and gogs back on and check the bookcases another needle and thread book the wor most worthless series in all the game damn it a schematic i've already read and a book i've already read I'm really pining, oh some honey, I'm really pining to get myself some extra schematics because that's my bread and butter now. All I want is more schematics to make some more mods because the more of those I get, the more money I'm always going to end up with. We're slowly but surely getting to the good stuff. Is there someone waiting in the cupboard? No? All right, that's one way to open a door, I suppose. Finally putting the max level of my shotgun beside to use and murdering a building. I'll just eat you. Um, That's all good. I'll raid all this stuff. You often find recipes and things in here, so I'm hoping I might get lucky with that. Nope, not today, though. Keep looting specs on for some cheeky coffee. No, come on. You knew I was coming today, and you got nothing for me. Didn't even put the kettle on for me. There's rudeness. There was a bullshit this is. The crickets are starting to chirp, so we're getting a little bit on, but long in the tooth for this raid. Nope, no one there this time. Just double check with the old chlamydia stick. Nothing really happening. We'll check you, though, in case... I was hoping for some lockpicks, but not today. Don't have time to break down everything in the building, though. I want to break down everything I can, anything that's mostly valuable, but I'm running out of time, and I still need to get my loot and candy going and all the other gubs, so just got to kind of push a little bit quicker than I otherwise would. I was going to say, there's usually someone in there. Close the door for me, and Chels can have some privacy so I can raid her trash. I've been here before, and I've failed to learn a lot of my lessons, so this time I'll try and do it a little bit cleverer. Open you, take the glass jars. That's the cracker book box. Although, so I'm getting to the point now where it might be worthwhile me leaving all this loot here and coming back with a looting candy before too long. 
And I know there's some gubs in there, but that's like the main one. That's the real uh, high value ticket item that I'm pining for. Anything in you? Quick, like the little stuff, in uh, consequential stuff like that. That's fine to be opened. It's really only the books that I'm uh, thinking about. Nothing there. Nothing there. Okay, so from now on, no more looting, Josh. Keep your XP gogs on and save all your looting for when you're done murdering everyone who's waiting for you upstairs. All the silly death traps included. This I won't fall for you again. No one in here. Someone in there. That's fine. Shotgun's got you all covered, so if you can all come and make your way to the front door, I'd super duper appreciate it. There you go. You were a feral. Your glowy eyes are now rolling around in the bottom of people's souls. Oh God, the shotguns are good though. I'm loving it. That's some pretty long range. I'm not sure I can actually reach that far. Ooh, does that hitbox count? It did. Oh, oh man, you are heckin' fucking quick. You were moving at a fair rate of knots. You were coming up like a freaking flyby from freaking Tom Cruise. I had to give you a for this shit. Now you spilled my coffee, you raging asshole. Oh, okay. That's fine. I shouldn't panic. Why do I panic when I have an auto shotgun? Throw it in my hands. Because anything gets thrown at me, shotgun's got it covered. It's now eight o'clock though, so the day's getting long. Sounds like there's someone pretty mad at me downstairs as well. Oh, oh, fuck yes. I'll get there in a second. Oh, man. I love I can find, like, that would be scrap. Any other playthrough, that would be garbage. But no, that's going to make me several thousand dollar redos. Always a good time. This is the last room of the POI as well. I'm pretty sure I could block and scrap you, actually. Just a random doorknob. Don't need that. Uh, I've got plenty of short iron pipes at home, but I'll keep you on me. Found special sewing kits, which is a good thing. Uh, you guys get scrapped as well. I don't need stones, don't need feathers, and... Ah, uh, that's fine, actually. I'll keep the rest of you. But, rather than charging up here, how about you take... Oh, God. Oh, God. Take a moment to actually consider all of the death and destruction that is coming your way. Oh, a cheeky dubs and a feral Nance as well. The spread of the pellets are doing me favors and I'm ruining this lovely staircase, but I have no regrets about that. Zombies gonna die and if a building's gonna go down with them, then that's the building's fault for being there. Open you, so I can have a cheeky peek inside. There you are. I was gonna say, there's usually someone waiting for me in there and it was Toothface Mama. Oh, this is gonna be fun. What we got, Rad Biker. Rad Bark and a bunch of clowns. There we go. Bonds might level up as well. Just take your time and pepper everyone. Do a bit of skeet shooting while you're at it too. Oh, bud, what happened to your grasshopper legs? Did I accidentally shoot them off? Oh, what a shame. You know what? I normally teabag next time, so I'll teabag your hip stump. Ah, oh, man. You can have all the athletic ability in the world. Nothing beats an auto shotty. The loot room is nice and clear. I'll just like skirt on through the piles of bodies again. But I haven't finished the quest yet. I'm not sure what room it's wanting me to go to, but I'm not done apparently. So I'll go and figure out wherever that uh that waypoint is leading me to. You need to piss off. You're just a random Jeffrey who showed up to ruin my day. Uh, yeah, where am I actually, where am I going with this? Ah, okay, there's a whole other extra part of the building that I just didn't realize existed. How do you normally get here then? What's the normal way to end up here? Oh, a door that I missed. All right, <laughs> that's some shit shooting. That's probably fair enough. Probably should have looked in here in the first place, but job done. Let's go get our loot and candy and get out of here. Here we go, just give me that real fast. I'll scrap you and a storm. Like everything I can into you, I suppose. One, two, three, four, five. I'll just lock you in. All of you guys go away. Give me that one back. All right. Nice. So all I need to do, that, a lot of that top floor still needs to be looted. That's not too much of an ask of me. And then to go back home, I think one of my biggest issues, especially given uh, all the things I was doing this morning and struggling to make all the mods and things, I think I need to pay more attention to loot and stuff, or sorry, making mods and stuff before I need them. So I should be spending the night times doing that instead of building gyrocopter platforms or redoing my farm. I know I had to do that once and it was worthwhile at the time, but it did cost me a lot of time this morning. I'm on the wrong side. I want to go this way. Just quickly pop open that. Excuse me. All right. Sick tits. 
Loot and specs on. Eye candy in. Let's start with you and see what you got for me. Anything good? Water purifier mod. That's only good for helmets, but I'll take you anyway. Take you to sell. Take the paper to make shotgun rounds. What else is about? Ooh. Ha! Always check the bookcases. Damn it. And... Ooh. Mostly damn it. Oh, God. I know that sound all too well. It's only just dropped into nighttime. You're centering a wandering horde at me? Or is it just one ghost? I think it's just one pelican. So real quick before you get inside, my bow is my only thing that I have with any sort of decent range. Or in fact, do I have? I do. That was really heckin' loud. Hopefully no one heard that. Nah, you're just having a trundle? All right, easy peasy lemon squeezy. Couldn't go with the shotgun. It was never gonna make that distance. Ooh, are you hiding something? You are. Well, I got loot and candy. Oh, ha, ha! While I've got the loot and candy going, don't fucking mind if I do. Not only is that tier six stuff, which is what I'm looking for, but it's also chest armor, which means I can put my bandos in there. So like the mods that I can make, I can just like shove straight in and not have to give two fifths of a shit about. Fuck yes, that's a really good bloody day. Shout my box, not even you could ruin my mood right now. I'll take that, thank you. 38 paper and... Ah, nothing good in you though. Not even mad, not even mad. A successful day loot and get anything tier six is always a good thing. Take all of that. In fact, I mean, I can just shove you into there for now. I know at some point I probably should... Ooh, I mean, I'm wearing tier six stuff. Maybe if I up, like, updated my current armor to whatever military stuff I can find, uh, I could sell all this for some pretty good stuff. Oh, I'll deal with that later though. My armor is pretty broken, come to think of it. Take all of you, thank you. And weapons bag, tier six knife. Don't mind if I do, lads. Don't mind if I bloody do. That will do me, I think. I can hear the pitter patter of footsteps down here somewhere, though. Well, that sounds very bloody close. Not especially sure where it might be. I thought I could kill buildings with my shotgun. What do you mean I can't do that anymore? There we go. Finally managed to get the zombie on the other side, and I'll take my leave and head back home. Ha! Uh, is there anything pressing that I need to be doing? I need to repair those tier sixes I just found and fill them with mods now. So the next time I go see Trader Potato, uh, it's already fully repaired and fully modded out, and I don't need to worry about it. But what's the plan for tomorrow? I'm thinking. I need to find some more schematics. I know that. I also need to go and see the other tradies to see if they're going to sell me some extra schematics or some extra books. That was some pretty good flying for a change. I just don't know what my priorities are anymore. I don't know what like the actual pressing issues are other than just murdering zombies and finding good shit. That's my everyday. What's important about tomorrow specifically? Coming in on a slightly different approach to what I normally would because I want to face my nose north. So tomorrow I can immediately head up to uh, Trader Joel and see all the traders to the north as well and see what they have for me. It's a bit of a steep nose dive. Try and flatten it out. I mean, it's not an easy thing to land on because I'm just a shit house pilot. The build is fine, just the talent is lacking. Although that's pretty much okay. We might overshoot it a bit though. We'll go a little bit further down. And as soon as we get close, just drop it like that. Little bit of damage, but not too bad. You can all hang out in there. And I need to get all the gubs out of you as well. That's a lot of gubs for just one sneaky deaky raid. So what we got? We got some, we got a SWAT helmet, which is worth a little bit. Got some military stuff and got four tier six items. That's good. I'm happy with that. Always happy with that. I suppose I should wait to go see Trader Joel tomorrow before, until uh, after rather, I've handed in the supplies given he is just next door. I can basically just like throw it at him off my porch and get the job done. I might need to go and have a bit of a squiz up here as well. Oh, I don't know. I've been through the cathedral. That's fine. But I want to find, actually, Jen had a massive town. Oh, and the desert towns as well. Because I want to find some more interesting POIs to go through. Rather than just raiding a waterworks day after day after day after day and doing the same stuff. I want to go and see what else is available to me. Jenny girl lives in a big town. I know that. I'm not going to have a squiz. Because, like, when's the last time I saw, like, a firing range POI or something like that? Something, like, big and exciting with a chance to get some good loots. I don't think I've seen anything like that in a hot minute. So I might have to go on the look-see and see if I can find some of those. That's not a bad idea, actually. That's not a heckin' bad idea at all. 
We were ending the day at what? Just shy of $260,000 redos. We're a quarter of the way there. On day 32, but we're making faster progress. It's ramping up as opposed to a linear graph. So we're doing okay. You actually, while I'm thinking about it, that's the wrong box. Go here. Um, grab you. You can be repaired. And I can actually put in, let's go like a muzzle brake, that eight times scope, which only goes into rifles. And what else can I put inside you? Is there anything good? Anything that's excited that can go in you and make you worth a little bit more dollar reduce? I can't put extended uh, mag mods on you because you're a bolt action. Maybe you? Do you go on them? Yes, you bloody do. There we go. No, I should have done that before. So I am now missing, I've used a lot of my armor plating mods, my cooling mesh mods, and also my pocket mods. Uh, what goes into those ones? Pocket mod takes polymers, leather, duct tape, mechanical parts. So sewing kits, is going to be the difficult part. That's going to be the problem with making the mods that I need. Because I need it for that one. I also need it for cooling mesh, I'm pretty sure. I guess I definitely do. The other one was the um, plating mod. So yeah, sewing kits is my limiting factor now. Because I just don't have that many of them. I've got four. And I just found like three of those just then as well. So I'm looking a bit scant on that. I might need to consider buying some of those if I can. That's probably not a bad idea. Oh, I might have to come back to that. I'll have to come back to that because it's getting kind of late and to wait till trading opens anyway. I might have to go do some shopping. I might have to, you know. It's not really the uh, the golden rule for making money. You're going to spend money to make money, but you can't spend all of your money. <laughs> People get so mad at me as well because I'm trying to make money all as much as I can, but uh, just refuse to stop buying shit. Not super clever of me. If I'm relying on looting stuff, I might even start trying to push for a better level of Lucky Luna. It'll also give me a better demo as well. So for my Horde base, running pipe bombs will get even more advantageous. So we'll grab you and start trying to push for Lucky Luna spec. So what's the plan for tomorrow? I can't make my mods now, which is kind of upsetting. What I can do, rather than wasting time, is grab you, uh, put those away, and real quick, just repair some of the stuff that I got last night. Anything tier 4 and up, I think, needs to be repaired. Although, the machete... Yeah, right, you're worthwhile. Like, this top tier stuff, the, the, the top echelon of item in its uh, class should always be repaired as well, I think. Probably wrong about that, but I'm happy to be corrected. No, so you're all in there, and you're all looking nice and spiffy. Sick. I am going to need some more repair kits, though. I made a whole bunch, I'm already running low. I wonder, actually... How much would a tier 5 auger be worth? Quite a bit, if I'm not mistaken. I mean, augers are worth quite a bit as they are already. But a tier 5 auger both to use would be good, but to sell would be worth quite a bit of coin. What do I need for the handlebars then? Handlebars, I need duct tape, leather mechanical parts, short arm pipes, and springs. I've got a couple of springs. Oh, I've got a fair amount of springs. Actually, I forgot I was breaking down beds and stuff purely to get them. Give me you, give me that one, give me that one. Uh, duct tape and leather and short iron pipe. Duck tape. Push up I used all my duct tape again. No, I did, didn't I? Every single time, Josh, maybe make a surplus of duct tape so I don't keep getting hamstrung by it. I've got that auger on the craft. Weirdly, I'm like my limiting factor for making augers is engines. I have a lot of those over at the horde base, but they're in the generator bank and being used, but I'll get some more as time goes on anyway. So I'm real curious about how much that's gonna be worth. Uh, I know that like, you know, it'd be worth a, a fair bit of coin, but whether it's going to be like a real good moneymaker for me, I'm not entirely sure. Before I forget, let's quickly swap over you to that one. There we go. I'd rather just make that auger um, to make an educated decision or an educated guess as opposed to just a Muppet estimation. So we'll see how that goes for me. Got some money, got my essentials. So tomorrow... I can head up, I can go see Joel, and then go and explore some of these towns around. Maybe we head back to the desert and see what's out there. Just to find somewhere that's going to give me the loot that I need, the loot that I want. In fact, I can probably do the ring. I'll go see Joel, go see these traders, and then go and see Jen before I head out to the desert. Just to kind of do the loop, see what they've got for me, finish off some series and get some schematics, and hopefully edge ever closer to getting a million dollar redos. But I'll have to come back and edge myself a bit closer in the next episode, because this episode is done. So thank you guys for watching. Most of all, thank you to the patrons of Patreon who made this episode possible. If you liked it, make sure you hit the like button down below and subscribe to this channel. 
follow me on Twitter. If I don't talk to you there first, I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.